Hi everyone and welcome back. So today's video is going to be kind of like a vlog style video but hopefully a very helpful one to you as well. I'm just finished doing a big kind of spring clean of my wardrobe and I figured while I was doing it I actually would film it as well and show you my really really easy steps and like process to do it. If like me you have a small space and you have to kind of make room for your summer clothes and put away your winter clothes. I'm literally working with a very small space here in New York I'm sure like lots of people who live here as well. So here are the steps on how you can do it too. Okay, so step number one what you want to do is take every single thing out of your wardrobe and I mean everything. Personally I do this section by section so we start with my coats and jackets and blazers that's in this section like this room that I'm standing in right now. So I take every single thing out then in the room next door I have my tops, my trousers, my dresses, all kind of those bits and pieces and I take everything out and you really have to do this step. I've tried other ways and I've tried kind of taking a few things out and looking in and kind of seeing what I liked and here and there but honestly once you take everything out you're going to be way stricter with yourself putting them back in and you'll only put back in what you truly love so this is just a better more efficient way of doing it so step one take everything out okay and then as soon as you have that step done the next thing you want to do is look at your different sections so let's start off for example with me and my coats so I have everything on the bed I have everything on the rail and now I have to decide what's going back in and what's not so First thing I do is ask myself the question for each and every item. I hold it up and I ask myself, if I was in a shop right now, would I buy this again? Like totally harsh, like if I was standing there, if I had to pay $100 or whatever amount it is, would I buy it again? And if the answer is yes, I put it back into the, the wardrobe. Doesn't really matter at this stage like where you're putting it or what section, just get it back in there. And if the answer is no, and please be honest with yourself here, this is gonna really give you that proper spring clear out. So if the answer is no, then the next thing is to put it into a specific pile. And I have four piles. Number one is the rubbish, the dustbin. If something has a tear, if it's stained, if it's just not good quality and not good enough for charity or for selling, then it has to go in the dustbin. So that's pile number one. Pile number two is for charity. Things that you think would be perfect for a donation, whatever charity you wanna choose, or your local thrift shop or whatever it is make that pile and put all that stuff in there pile number three is something that you may be able to sell on so personally for me I use an app called dress up market where I sell the pieces that like are really really good quality and I've only worn once or twice and I paid maybe a little bit extra for it and I kind of want to get a bit of value back and maybe I don't have any room for it anymore it doesn't fit me or whatever the problem is and I know that someone else would absolutely love it so I put that in my to sell pile and then pile number four is the pack away pile so obviously living in New York and living in Manhattan I don't have an awful lot of space so I have to kind of like rotate my wardrobes not as much as I used to have to do anymore since I have the spare room now but I still have to put away certain things so I don't have room for everything so for example some really bulky winter coats or like my kind of like snow jacket things like that I want to pack them away or really bulky jumpers or knitwear so I'll be packing them away into my storage box like I have a plain white Ikea storage box that has summer stuff in there right now so I'll be doing that swap over so pile number four is for that so all the yes stuff will be back in your wardrobe at this stage and everything else will be in their section and you're ready to move on to step number three okay and then what is step number three so as soon as you have everything back in the wardrobe now is the time to really get organizing and if you're like me and love everything super color coordinated and organized this is the step for you so how I like to do it is color coordination kind of either dark to light or light to dark it just depends on what I'm feeling and what kind of works so example my trousers and jeans I start with like the kind of pants trousers and I do that in color then I move into my jeans and I start with the light jeans dark jeans black jeans leather jeans, leather pants, that kind of stuff. And then I go on to my skirts, short skirts, long skirts. So just keep it very organized and do the same for your tops and your jumpers and your t-shirts and your coats and your jackets. And just when you're getting ready in the morning, it'll make your life so much easier when everything has a place. And of course it will look really nice as okay, well. Okay, and then the last step, step number four, is a really good trick that I've started to use myself. And 
I kind of always used to see this trick and people telling me to do it and I never really like bought into it I never really believed that it would work but this actually works so it's called the discardian method so basically what it is is when you have all your pieces in the wardrobe now you have them color coordinated I want you to turn each hanger like outwards so all the hangers will be facing out and then as soon as you wear an item so say for example if I go to wear my white top tomorrow and I put it back on the hanger that evening or the day after I then switch that hanger the other way so I know that I've worn that piece and then in like three months time or six months time I want you to go back to your wardrobe and by the time you come around to your next closet clear out you'll be able to see exactly what you've worn and what hasn't been worn and that will give you an indication that you're probably never going to wear it if you haven't worn something in six months like the likelihood of you wearing it obviously occasion pieces are different or like fancy things or whatever but like the day-to-day -day stuff if you haven't worn that in six months that is going in the to-go pile and that is everything obviously you can do the very same for your shoes your jewelry your makeup your home decor whatever it is in your house or your apartment these four steps are just exactly what you need they're quick and easy and I know that they sound kind of obvious and we probably all know them but sometimes you just need the bit of motivation to actually do them and I think with clearing out places like the thought of it is actually so much worse than actually doing it so if you just think to yourself it's just four steps Erica said four steps it's really quick and easy I'll be able to get it done in like one or two or three hours so I really hope you found this video helpful definitely let me know in the comments if you use those steps and if they helped you as well and I'm always open to new ideas and new tips and tricks so comment them below as well thanks as always for watching if you like this video definitely give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one bye